Perfect. All right, all right. Amen, church. Amen, church. Uh, we get the chance to continue worship. Baptism. I get to baptize my friend here, Brittany Atkins. Um, here we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. <laughs> um, well, yeah, over the past few months, I got to know Brit Brittany um, to share a little bit of her story. She grew up Catholic, and uh, like a lot of us, kind of grew up going to church, but didn't really know what it meant to really follow God and didn't have a relationship with him. And that continued all the way up into um, college and through college and things like that. And throughout all that time, she had a concussion, really bad accident. And uh, because of that, unfortunately, um, she grew an addiction to some narcotics. Um, and for two years, nobody knew. Um, through all those hardships of life, she was kind of lost and didn't have purpose. Um, she met Cody and now her, who's her husband now. And um, he's like one of the few people who like met her and like actually shared what it is to like follow God. And she finally grew a different perspective of God and who he is. Um, fast forward in some more years, her and Cody got married and had kids and life was good. But then also some hardships occurred again and found herself depressed, lost. But then Jesus started going to church um, continually more and more and more. And then even I remember you saying when we were talking, uh, is your kids, Parker, it's like, Mom, when are we going to church? Dad, when are we going to church? Um, and then more and more you guys kept coming back to church. And it was actually uh, at Easter this year. I want to read your own specific words. It said, I was listening more at church. And I didn't know what I was feeling, so I ignored it. But I kept feeling it every week for a year and a half. And this past Easter, 2023, I listened wholehearted, and I committed my heart to Jesus 100%. That's so sweet. Um, that is so, so sweet. And now, from Easter two months ago, we're telling the story about her deciding to go public with her faith. So, Brittany, I have two questions for you. Um, one, do you trust in Jesus for the forgiveness of your sins? And uh, do you commit to follow him all the days of your life? I do. Well, then, it is my honor to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 